Hey, so apparently I was told that I didn't have the correct styles for some of these rooms. Well, there was a problem with the styles and that they were bugged. But I fixed it and there we are. These are, this is what this is supposed to look like. And it looks quite good, so yeah, there you go. I just wanted to mention that before we started. Hello again, everyone. This is Beathrow Butkin7, and we are back with our chance for paradise. So we best take it. We were in Typhoon Tomb, which uh, had all of these crazy kind of trial error -y moving rooms of trialing and erroring. And I'm thinking that the parody... I could offset the parody by actually going on that. I just had a thought about that right now. But yeah, okay, so this room is the one I want to tackle next because, yeah, there's a snake parody involved and I feel like I could do something about it if I was uh, just a, maybe a, perhaps a little bit careful. I'm having also another thought that pinpoints the possibility of me wanting to get the snake to go on this tile and then moving up in order to get it to do its uh, usual thing. So yeah, let's uh, see how that works out. I want a bunch of water skippers, please. Thank you. So, okay, I need a time to, to release of the snake, I guess. Okay, so, there aren't any checkpoints in here, which I have to admit is somewhat annoyingly, unlo annoyingly unsurprising. So, I don't want you to eat the water skipper. Ah, uh, you know, whatever. If you can stop by on this tile. No, it won't do that. Okay. I think I need to offset the timer a little better. Okay, so. Okay, yeah. so what I want is for the snake to be on this tile and then send it to the horizontal. So let's activate the uh, directional clock. What I want is for it to be here on vertical 5. So let's see how that'll work out. So naturally for that to happen, yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the parity I'd want. Question is, can I get it onto that tile? Hmm. Alright, okay. Well, whatever that being said. Okay, so. Okay, there's an issue. The snake is not in the most ideal position, but I also have another idea as to what I might want to do. So, yeah, the snake is in length four. This is ideal for trapping it. So let's just try not to stab it and try not be throw you unruly character. Stop doing that. You'll get the ecologists to be all angry at you again. Okay. Anyway. The echo, echo, whatever. Word. A word. You, you know the word I was trying to say. Don't don't make me repeat a million times. All right. So, what I want to do here is to send a snake up like so. Come on, get trapped. Okay, it won't go there of its own volition. I could wait. There you go. That is exactly what I want. Okay, so now if I do this, yes, it'll go in there now. Awesome. Okay, so that was the trick I needed. The little push I needed from uh, other people. Well, by other people, I mean the snake being cooperative. But still, it's worth commemorating. Anyway. I can just get him to leave me alone. Oh, yeah, I can go in there. Sure. Uh, just move up, please. Come on. Um, yes. Sure. Okay, that works. Come on, dude. You're being very rude right now with your lack of kindness. 
Okay, how do I get out of this predicament? How did I even get in it in the first place? Okay, that that's where. I don't know why I didn't have it just eat the, the skippers right off the bat. I'll do that. Just I'll do just that. Okay, whatever. So now I can get it here. Boom. So, did I want it to be that specific length? I think so, yeah. Let me stab it a bit. I guess that would probably be the tricky part of this, stabbing it. Hmm. Can't have it be any longer than we want it to be. Okay, that is a that is a bad place for me to be. Um, come on, stop being annoying. Okay. Yeah, attacking a snake is difficult on a slow sand. It really is. Okay. Uh. Now I have to do like stuff like this. All right, okay, well, anyway, that seems to have done me well. Okay, I think that's the length we want it to be. We need it to be seven long, so, yeah, it's just right. Now it's time to send it on an invasion course to somewhere far away from wherever. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Eat that one. Uh, actually, don't do that. Oh, there we go. We managed to not get it to do that. Awesome. So, I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Awesome. So, let me kill this jerk. I don't see any reason why I should... Not have him be a oh what? Wait what? Okay no, no tell me why do I want the thing to be unsorted? Seriously why why would I? I don't. Okay sorry we had dog related issues but that's not really a problem anymore so let's just kill a snake because that's what would need to happen obviously it's just pointless murdering that makes everyone happy doesn't it yeah well whatever i don't care that much it's just a dumb snake anyway was it ever done for me that's a real question and the answer is nothing it's done nothing for me nothing except eat me on slow moving sand is what it did okay this room is over and i have no idea what that token was for and I couldn't care less so to be honest with you here okay so that's one room down that is something I can be happy about so now there's this little silly thing of a puzzle I have to time these evil eyes in such a way that it'll all work out in the end. okay so I want this one to get okay, that'll activate this Okay, we can't have that activate this. Okay, uh... Uh, okay. Okay, what happens if I just wake them all up? My... Alright, so the bottom and the top one got stuck. So I want to wake up that one first, or last. Okay. So that one also should get waken up. How do I hold? Okay, I need to hold it back. So that means this one has to also wake up. So that's a clear shot for that prize. So, so I wouldn't want it to. Okay, what does that activate? That I don't care about that. Okay, so. Okay, so it almost got past. I need to hold this one back with that. Wait, what? Hold on. Um, there's no other way to wake that one up. Okay. 
Okay, uh, this is issue full. Um, okay, what's gonna activate this one? That one? Get that one, okay. Okay, so this is really just a bunch of silliness. Hold that one to hold this one. So that one can get through. Uh, how do I hold that one? By not activating that one. Okay. Okay, what holds that one back? This one. Okay, so... Nope. Okay, um... Okay, the, the order of operations seems very confuddling here. Okay, this one probably will end up being last. Okay, so, no, I want to avoid waking up that one, because that, okay, that'll happen last. So, yeah, okay, um. Alright, so there are one, two, three, four eyes I can wake up here. So which one would I want to wake up first? Actually, you have this, this, and that one at least. Hmm. This one, okay, removes those, but it needs to be blocked by this, which will be blocked by this. So I'm thinking, okay, this will open that, but I want to leave that. This one will open this. Okay. Okay, it opens that, but this will toggle it off. If it was a time to wake this guy up, it would be now. But... I want that to be here, but then I want this to be there as well, so... Wait... This is very tricky, um... Is there a movement order involved too? Because that would be just stupid. Anyway, um, let's see. Hmm. Okay, this is gonna be a little complicated. Okay, so I have a choice between this eye, whom will activate again. Yeah, I feel like I want to try to shut down as many arrows as I possibly can, so... Maybe both of them at once. Then I need this one to be out, so... Yes! So this plate... Activate that one... Okay. Then that'll deactivate and open this up, which means that this one will go out... Basically, this. I haven't even gotten the other ones out of yet, so... Do this and that. Okay, that worked out. <laughs> I guess I just... I was just lucky enough to piece it all together in a good way. Alright, let's carry on. This was... That was a good puzzle. Probably... Probably the best one so far, actually. Um, so we have... We have that stupid decoy room. I feel like I want to try a few moves to try to get that garbage out of the way. At least there's a few combinations that came to mind that I at least want to give a try. So, Mimic facing this way. Shove a roach here. Wait, no, there's only one behind me. Okay. Okay, no. Mimic here. Decoy goes here. Wait. Okay, so I also want to go back on what I was saying back, uh... Back, uh, that first video where I couldn't retreat to that alcove down there. 
Because I could, if I could. So, let's see, this here. Uh, wait, this, that, and um, wait. Okay, this will kill me, that will also kill me, okay. Hmm. That'll actually put some distance between them, but the roaches are also in the way. Okay. Alright, waiting is no good, because that'll just get them piled on me. Hmm. Alternatively, I could abuse the fact that the Mimic will only activate these things after. that actually do something interesting, so... Hmm, that is very interesting. Then I have to kill this roach. Then I'm pretty much stuck because this one's gonna kill me. Okay, that did not accomplish that much. Less turn order is more helpful with this. Uh, nope, not really. Hmm. Okay, no, so I have to hit that orb first, I believe. Almost. If I could just make my getaway. I feel like there's no way to get to both potions. Which is unfortunate, because I'd like to do that. And the timing of the movement order of these roaches seems to be similar, so... Much that can be done in that department. Hmm. Okay, I gotta be a little more mindful of which way the roaches will go depending on where I go. Can I pull them away? No, probably not, because I'm in their range. So. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's continue exploring the possibilities of diagonals. That is no good. That's another thing I tried at that first video. Hmm. Okay, rotating my sword, what does it do? It does that. This kills me, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Oh wait, that, that still kills me, okay. Oh, wait. That's a victory. Yeah, okay, this is definitely probably one of my least favorite of the runes so far. To be honest, if that's a signal of what of what kind of stuff we'll be getting in the future, I'm not such a big fan of it. It's, uh... I don't know, these types of rooms were never really my style, and yeah, from what I hear, that's what they are all about. So this challenge seems unappealing as all, as all goes by, so... What is that challenge? Start with, uh... Start with a different roach? Okay. So, okay, no, just uh, three different orbs. So. Okay, that is wrong. Uh, I'll try getting that one first. Okay, so. Oh, wait, that arrow could protect me. Okay, the problem is that I'm too close to really do any damage. Oh, wait, there we go. Boom, that's one. Yeah, I said that challenge wasn't very appealing, but I'm gonna bother with it anyway, because why not? <laughs> That was a southern one. At least the, the breadth of possibilities is much smaller with this one, so that's not as bad. Hmm. 
Okay, so I gotta try for something else. Okay, uh... There's no shielding. That, that doesn't help. Hmm. Okay, how do I... Hmm. Yeah, the bottom ones are the most troublesome. Oh, I could stay there. Oh, I guess I guess I could do that. If that didn't result in my immediate demise. Okay, that's not the worst. Far from the best, though. Hmm. Yeah, because of that one up there. Like, that does not work out so well at all. Hmm. <clears throat> I can't bump the orbs. Okay, you know what? Let me try this one instead. So I gotta... Oh! Oh boy, okay. There's this one up here that's coming up. Okay, that seems particularly annoying and painful. Oh, wait. Um, wait. No. Um, wait. <laughs> yeah, this is the episode of waiting. If you're, if you're not patient, this one is just not for you. I'm sorry. Okay, no, I definitely have to take these on from that angle. There's not really much of any other way. So what, do these orbs all activate the same roach? Okay, so there's the same few roaches that come out in that order. It's just that the... Yeah, the... Possibilities are different. Oh! That's interesting. I can go in there, I suppose. There's also that arrow down there that really interests me. Because it would shield me from pretty much all directions if I can make that, make it there. Hmm. Any other arrows with that advantage to them? Hmm. Let's focus on this one. Okay, so there's only three directions I can start this off with. My favorite so far is this, because it can get me quite far. Like, all the way up there, but then this roach comes in and just ruins my day. This is not optimal because of this jerk down here. Now I have time to face downwards again to get to it, so that's not it. Nope. Having them both on my side like this is also not ideal. Yeah, because they can just use their extra turn to just straight up murder my face. I don't like my face being murdered, so you can see why I'd have oppositions to that. <sighs> okay. Is there any way to do something more interesting with uh, how this works out? Like, halt the progress of the roaches or anything? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything all that particularly exciting here. I'd kill this jerk if I could. Yeah, I'm still eyeing that arrow. It's really, really, really got my interest. I can't run away from this one for very long. I also cannot rotate in time to get that other one over there. Is this one ever open? Uh, much later into the game. Hmm. Yikes, okay, yeah, uh... 
Hmm. Yeah, this is impossible. Crimson, wh wh why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing that to me? How could you? How, how could you? <laughs> okay, so... That doesn't work. Um, yeah, I'm thinking... Let's save here. I've already done the southern one at this juncture, so... I could probably restore there and do the challenge later, but... Uh, I don't know. I want to solve it now, but also... Uh, this is awkward. Okay, so... Whatever, let's just keep trying. Because I, I'm maso masochistic like that. I'm masochistic. Wh whichever you prefer. It's up to you, really. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm... Here, I did one of them. It, I would like an indicator of how many times you've done a challenge already. Like, just some sort of visual cue. So you don't have to guess. But for prosperity, I'm gonna hope that I remember that I did this one already. But whatever. It's... I think I'm gonna be here forever if I keep at this, so... Let's do the south we go with the gel room. Which I actually noticed while editing the, uh, the previous video that I could actually do as gel or as tar. I think. And there isn't a challenge for doing either, really. Which I found weird. Although I'd assume it would be pretty tricky. Yeah. Yeah, because they got to jump on you. Okay, so you have to have it beat at them. Yeah, I don't see that changing. I'm just gonna clear this up. So now here comes the tricky part. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking I could really just cut along the middle. I don't see what's stopping me from... Oh, well, this is definitely not going to help. Okay, so... Oh, I could do that, actually. There we go. I don't see why that couldn't work out. I guess the issue is going to be me going back. Although... Hmm, wasn't so bad. Uh, well, actually, what I meant to say is this might actually be a lot more trouble than I thought. This is not ideal. Um, let's head back and... Do I really want to clear up all the tar, though? Okay, let's see how fast I can do this. Uh, how much I can trim off the top before I barge in. I'm gonna take this out. Okay, but I cannot cut that. Or this. I could probably shove myself um, here. Do this. And, um, yeah, that's not gonna work out. Okay. So maybe I could do some damage from here. Okay, I have to use the walls in such a way that they won't that the, that I could cut down on the baby spawn. Okay, let's just try that again, the shoving deep into the tar thing. That seemed to work out well. Let's just try to be a little quicker about it now. Let's try not to cut over there. Okay. Let 
let's try that again so cut here there tar token a helping things how funny the thing that's supposed to assist me is actually assisting in my downfall how uh, I don't know token I don't know. I really wouldn't know what the appropriate word for this situation there's not much I can do about this though like unless I'm super fast Okay, so definitely gonna want to do this now. Okay. Okay, this seems about as fast as I did it last time, so that's uh, not nice. Okay. Okay, looks like control 5 is a little awkward with this uh, sand stuff. That's uh, awkward indeed. Okay. Yeah, the biggest problem is this corner right here that really eats up a lot of my time in getting to that tar mother. Hmm. Okay, actually, I have a lot more open room now to do stuff. Okay. Uh, no, I still can't do that. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can. Mm hmm. Hmm. No, that's not good. All right, as I said, I want to try to trim out some tar from there. It seems like tar cutting is just so awkward. And gel cutting just seems to be even worse. Maybe I need to figure out like a way to switch it out or something. No, that's definitely not gonna work. Okay, I can't switch it back after I switch to tar. Hmm. I guess that makes things a little too easy. Maybe I could do this. Maybe, I don't know how that much that would help much, but There's something, I guess. I might cut this out actually. No, that doesn't do anything worthwhile. Ooh, okay, so this video is actually a little long now, but... Mm, I do really kind of not want to leave cliffhangers hanging around. Also, I forgot to clear... Actually, I forgot to leave this room in a cleared state, so that's... That's me being stupid. So... You know what, I'll cut here, take care of uh, making this be clear, and I'll see you in the next part, so... This has been Beethro back in a 7 with the chance for paradise, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, have a nice one!